finally warming up here in Montana and it's time to hit the road on your motorcycles. And guess what we're bringing you today is the new Power Vision 4 to flash the newest Harley Davidson with the enhanced level of security contained inside the ECU. First, let's tackle the questions we know are coming. This specific PV4 was engineered to support the enhanced security protocols introduced on 2023 and newer Harley Davidson models. So this includes 23 and a half CVOs, 121s with or without VVT, your 24 CVO Panamericas and 121 STs. All those bikes are covered by this product announcement, the PV4-15-04. If you're curious or unsure if your bike has this specific ECU, take a look at your bike's cam cover and or handlebar controls. If the cam cover is shaped like a rectangular kickout or your handlebar controls are of the new style that almost look like a video game controller, then this product applies directly to you. Well, I already have a PV4, can I just plug into my new bike? Uh, you know, I bought a new 2025 Road Glide. Yes, you can connect to the bike, and you will need to upgrade the internals of that PV4 through a new feature license to make that PV4 able to flash your new ECU. Of course, then you would also need a flash license. You're going from your first married bike to your second bike, so that traditional flash license by obtaining universal tokens would still be in play here. Well, what exactly is the PV4 out of the box gonna contain for a feature set? You've seen us add things like ABS bleed and other ADAPT features throughout the past year for PV4 specific on Harley Davidson's. This initial release will not include any of those features. It will also not include auto-tune out of the gate. Why is that? Well, guys, this has been two years, two years in the making for us to just get through security, to play nicely with these ECUs. So we need to get this product into your hands. So not only can you tune your own bike if you're a regular customer, but also our big backlog of tuning dealers who've been asking exactly for this product for two years now. So we'll get this out to you and you can start tuning. Which phones or operating systems does this apply to? Only Apple, only iOS at this point. Android will be down the road. Well, does a DinoJet wideband device apply here? Absolutely it does. Any DinoJet wideband device that's dedicated for these Harley Davidsons can connect from your wideband device into the PV4 and then project that data onto your phone so you can see wideband air fuel ratio for the front and rear cylinders and then view that data, log that data uh, to then review later inside data center in PowerCore. And keep in mind, these DinoJet wideband devices aren't just for those tuning dealers out there who really rely on air fuel ratio to get your bike dialed in. It can just be for a regular consumer who wants that peace of mind knowing that his air fuel ratio are in check as he's riding down the road. So if you're looking to get outfitted with a wideband air fuel ratio monitoring device for your PV4, for these new ECUs or even the rest of the, the Harley-Davidson line, that part number is AT-121B to get you all set up with widebands in your exhaust pipe so you can be a full-time wideband monitoring vehicle riding down the road perfecting your tune. Installation of the Power Vision 4 on your Harley Davidson motorcycle is quick and simple. Reference our installation guide for the proper location for your model and where this diagnostic port connector is. On this particular 23 and a half CVO, it's located behind this left side panel, docked onto its own little holder. Disconnect this red connector from the holder and connect the Power Vision 4. From there, now that we have the Power Vision 4 installed, of course we'll need the Power Vision 4 app. You can snag this from the App Store and download the DinoJet Power Vision 4 app. For those of you who do already have the app installed, to address these new model motorcycles, there will be an app update required, along with a firmware update for your PV4 to address these bikes. Now that you've gotten your PV4 installed, let's sit down, get comfortable, and see how easy it is to flash a tune file to your Harley-Davidson motorcycle using the Power Vision 4 app. First up, Open the app. With your bike keyed on, you can then scan for that power vision and connect to it. If you've already connected to this before, it will automatically reconnect to your device for you. So we are now connected to our vehicle. We can see our vehicle info there populated. You can see our tune capat, ECU serial number, all here. And for you tuning shops or even customers out there who if you wanna identify if your vehicle has this new type of ECU, notice the ECU serial number that starts with HDJ right there. That is a good indicator that this vehicle is of the new type of ECU. So this product announcement and the product itself applies directly to you. So 
jumping right in, let's get a tune file in this bike. So I'll click on tunes. We can of course see our pre-configured Dynojet tune files for this bike. But first things first, we're always gonna do a read of the ECU. So now that we have read the ECU and we successfully have our stock file listed here, we have a set of slip-ons for this bike. We can select this. Notice the it's for the 121 inch engine with a stock cam. And yes, it does have RDRS with a set of slip-ons. So now we can go flash tune. Once this completes successfully, key off your bike, wait 30 seconds, and then turn it back on to validate that the flash was successful. Keep in mind, the Dynojet PowerVision 4 is connected to the cloud. So if you flash your bike one day, and then in another month, you wanna see if Dynojet has added any new tune files, simply open the app, check out, oh yeah, they did add another set instead of just for a two into one exhaust and a stock cam, they have one for a, a woods cam or some other product, and that's more pertinent to your bike flash that new tune file, but you're always connected to the cloud, so you'll always get our updates then. So this tune file list will stay up to date for you. Beyond just installing our tune, we can of course check out our live data. We can set up our uh, additional gauges here, just like we have with all of our other PowerVision 4 uh, products. You can set up a live gauge for battery voltage here. Uh, you can add a gauge as well for, let's say, engine temperature and we could even view that on a circular gauge. You can see it's 24 degrees Celsius right now. Don't forget, as you are riding down the road, you can press the uh, data log button. From the home screen, press the start button to gather data, or if you are already over in the live data screen, simply press the red button at the top right, and then hit the play button to start a log from within the live data screen as well. For you tuning shops or dealers out there who might be new to PV4, remember that the PV4 can also stream data live into PowerCore by connecting your PV4 to your DynaWare RT main box. That would then project all the data, not onto your phone, but into PowerCore to view all your engine running parameters, AFRs if you have them as well. Check out our PV4 101 course available at the link down below in the description. Thank you for joining us for another exciting DynaJet product announcement this PV4 for these new Harley Davidsons. We're just as excited as you are to get this product into your hands. So snag a PV4 for your bike, and until next time, stay tuned.